Recently, I made this YouTube video, which I'll put a link to up there somewhere. Long story short, webcams, expensive at the moment. Capture cards, expensive and hard to get hold of at the moment. But I got this £20 unbranded eBay webcam and it's been an absolute gem and I'm using that for all my streaming and this vlog right now. But I'd given up on capture cards because they were really expensive as well. Apart from one make that seemed to be about the £15 price point but it was getting really bad reviews and people were saying oh it doesn't really capture it full 1080p and it overheats and stuff and so I more or less gave up on the idea of using a capture card at all until the other night when I saw Epos Vox's video where he was, shall we say, emphatically confused by a brand new capture card that seemed to have appeared overnight, was really cheap and seemed to be really good. So I bought two of them. I nearly bought like eight of them, but then I had to stop myself because I thought, well, you're never going to use eight at once unless you've got like multiple computers on the go. Your computer's never going to handle eight HD streams. But it's opened up the possibility of me using this full HD camcorder, which I got secondhand for £40, or even the Zoom Q2N in a more stable configuration rather than using it in webcam mode, which kind of had underwhelming results. I could actually plug a HDMI cable into it and stream that through a capture card. And the best thing about these capture cards, if they work, haven't tried them out yet, and if they work well, these were £10 each. So if these are real competition, if these end up being real competition for things like the Elgato, maybe I'll buy a couple more? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see what they're like. I uh, don't really need to open both of them. Just going to test out one at a time. But I want this to be like a real live reaction cam, if you like, because if these are as good as they're supposed to be, I'm very excited. So not really much to see, I suppose. It's an HDMI capture card. It plugs in with HDMI on one side and USB on the other, but sizable manual. Yeah. Okay. It's the same both sides in different languages. Um, Maximum output can be 1080p. So with uh, with these ones, it can take in a 4K signal. Don't worry, it's going to be a long, long time before I'm using 4K video. Uh, but it can take in a 4K video, allegedly. And uh, it supports a maximum output of 1080p. So in your computer, it'll be 1080p. But if you've got 4K coming out of your console, I guess you can do that. And you've got a HDMI splitter. Of course, unlike uh, some of the more expensive capture cards, there's no splitter here. It's just, you know, a straight input. Uh, I could get it out of the bag. It's quite a chunky sort of device. Oh, that's actually build quality on that is actually quite good. That's it's got like a I don't know if it is metal. It sounds like metal. It's got USB on one side, <laughs> HDMI on the other, HDMI input, USB output. Fairly simple. Okay, so here's the plan. One end of the HDMI lead into my JVC Avario HD camcorder, which I've already talked about before in a previous video, and it's really great because it's got a full-size HDMI socket in the back. And then, can't really get simpler than this, other end of the HDMI lead into the capture card. Right, I've plugged the capture card into the computer. Nothing came up in Windows to say it had been plugged in. It didn't do the usual sort of blip to say that something had been plugged in, but um, when I went into OBS and created a new video capture source, it's in the list as USB video. So let's activate it and yes, yeah, it's working. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, uh, the colors are very washed out. Let's, let's have a look at that full screen. Okay. That, that's actually really sharp. Yeah, as I say, don't pay too much attention to the colors because this camcorder is just as it was from the experiments I was doing. I'll show you the videos. Uh, the experiments I was doing for what I called my midlife crisis vlogging studio. Now what's actually happened is that uh, this room here has turned into my vlogging studio, my old radio station setup and multi-purpose work from home and, uh, you know, streaming setup. But uh, this camcorder, I was trying all sorts of different lighting settings, so goodness knows how it's set up. But just uh, so ignore the colors, ignore the fact it kind of looks really washed out. That's my fault. That's all my fault. It's the way I've set up the camera with the white balance all on the wrong and those zebra stripes as well. Gosh, I really, <laughs> really got these uh, box these settings into a corner, haven't I? Right, uh, auto brightness, auto shit. Yeah, auto everything <laughs> for now. Zoom out anymore. That's in. <laughs> uh, 
Well, that's better, isn't it? I could fiddle with these settings all day now. I mean, the chroma key needs a bit of work. The lighting setup needs a bit of work to work with the camcorder. Uh, but this is a live capture. I'm ending on this, a live capture from my full HD camcorder plugged in via HDMI lead straight into the computer using these 10 quid capture cards. I haven't got a uh, higher end capture card to compare it to, but as far as I can tell, it's, it's definitely worth 10 pound. It's worth more than 10 pound. So I think I might buy maybe one more, maybe two more. But yeah. Um, if these had been out before I bought the webcam, would I have still bought the webcam? Yeah, probably because the webcam has been useful to have and it's a little bit more flexible. You can see this camcorder, you know, I, I, it's a bit too close. Really. <laughs> but I mean, there's nothing stopping me having this as a close-up cam and the webcam as a faraway cam, if I can get the lighting setup perfect. Um, maybe put it on a proper tripod or something but yeah i now completely understand eposvox's uh emphatic confusion i'm confused i can't see any lag in this it seems to be working absolutely flawlessly i've been running it for the past 20 minutes or so no problems actually before i put it away there is one thing that i really should try and seeing as i've bought two of them there's no point buying three if two won't work side by side uh, so what I've done is I, I've only got one HD camcorder, but uh, as you can see, yeah, it's showing the two up. It's just, it's just they both got the same name. So obviously, yeah, one of them is blank at the moment. Let's try swapping the lead. I'm leaving them both plugged into the USB, but I'm just swapping the HDMI lead from one to the other. Very carefully. And yeah, okay. So you can use two side by side. I presume that if you have three or four, they're just all going to have the same names. That's the only problem. Sorry, I know I said I'll leave it there ages ago, but I can't. My scientific brain won't let me because I didn't actually prove that you could run two of these capture cards side by side simultaneously. I proved that both of them seem to keep working if I swap the camera from one to the other. That's not the same thing. And the reality is maybe I was just a bit too lazy to go and try and find my micro HDMI lead, but I've now found it. So. Sounding like a really bad impression of Bullseye. In one, we have our JVC Averio plugged into one capture card. And in two, we have our Zoom Q2N plugged in to the other capture card, both via HDMI. So in one, there's our camcorder. There you go. Oop, I'm trying not to lose my, uh, my zoom off the desk in two there we go right so they both seem to be reacting doesn't seem to be any lag of course it's taking longer to render the frames in, in OBS but that's to be expected oops I just knocked the lens cover and yes, whilst it's true I don't have a console capable of outputting HDMI I do have something else now that I've got the micro HDMI lead I have a Windows tablet that outputs a micro HDMI signal. Micro HDMI signal? HDMI signal over a micro HDMI. Okay, well, here's the video I literally just finished recording on the tablet. Uh, there it is on the tablet, look. At the same time. And let's see if I can match it up. So the speed seems to be okay. Uh, let's switch it to full screen and see what it looks like. And full screen on here. See, to me, the colors on that look great. And you can see I'm, I'm still here with almost the same settings. The lights might have moved slightly, but yeah. So, uh, <laughs> a 10 pound HD capture card capable of capturing a direct digital output from a tablet. Again, sorry, I haven't got a super duper console to test it with, but uh, we've got this Windows tablet. We've managed to run two of them side by side. And also with two of them running side by side, I think it missed a couple of frames when I was loading them up, but uh, I can hear the fans in the computer are going a little bit faster, actually, <laughs> not surprisingly. Uh, and the hard disk is spun up because I'm trying to capture two HDMI stream. Well, I'm trying to capture the video of me videoing HDMI streams whilst also encoding 
two video streams and yeah that's that's the end of that so yeah it works it's cheap i don't think i necessarily need an elgato anymore for what i need anyway for my purposes so there you go